Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centre and this is my review and buyer's guide for the brand new Kawai CA79 and CA99 digital pianos. So the purpose of this movie is to go over the main features of both instruments and also highlight the differences between the two models. Remember, you can come and try these out in our piano showrooms. We have three stores now. One is on the south coast in Eastbourne. One is in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway. And our new store is in Milton Keynes, just off the M1 motorway. So if you're thinking of buying a new digital piano, we'd always suggest that you actually come and have a feel and have a try if you already play. Um, and it also gives you the opportunity in Bonner's stores to compare these with other models from different manufacturers, just to be sure that when you're buying a digital piano, you're buying the right one for you. So let's start this review with some playing. I'm going to choose the very first piano sound that appears when you switch the instrument on, and that's the sound of the Shigeru Kawai SK EX Concert Grand Piano. Now the piece of music I'm playing is very open and it leaves lots of space and I've done that because I want you to hear the resonance and the depth of this piano sound, it really is beautiful. So these new models use a familiar touchscreen interface that was introduced on the previous range of pianos, but it's been upgraded. It's a slightly higher definition screen, brighter graphics, and the user interface just seems a little bit more logical to work. So let's now take a listen to the second piano sound, and that's the sound of the EX Concert Grand. This is a slightly brighter, perhaps more powerful piano voice, but all the same, it's still very beautiful. So take a listen to this. So Kawai have included the sound of four different distinctive pianos 
inside these new models. So you have the Shigeru Kawai SK EX Concert Grand, you have the standard EX Concert Grand, and now I'm going to play something using the Studio Grand, which is called the SK5. So this is a smaller grand piano, um, slightly brighter in tone, but this is the type of piano that's really popular with recording artists. So I've selected a piece of music here, which is a little bit more um, upbeat and um, perhaps bluesy or jazzy, uh, because I think it works particularly well on the SK5 concert sound. So as well as the three grand piano voices, Kawai have also included the sound of an upright piano too. So these instruments work in two modes. You have piano mode and sound mode. Now, when you're in piano mode, it gives you the choice of all of the very highest quality acoustic piano sounds that are in the instruments. But when you go into sound mode, it opens up a much wider range of sounds. Now, you've got things like um, electric pianos, orchestral strings, organ sounds, harpsichord, um, lots and lots of different voices. Now, the uh, CA99 has an additional 60 voices over and above everything that's inside the CA79. So that's the first big difference between the two models is that there are actually more voices in the CA99. So if you're looking for a wider range of sounds, then the CA99 is the right piano for you. So I'm gonna now play um, a piece of music using, this is a classic electric piano sound. It's the sound of the Fender Rhodes. Um, and this is a sound that was uh, particularly popular in the 1970s. Um, so it's a very bell-like uh, piano sound, a very pretty sound as well, lovely for playing ballads. So take a listen to this. So as well as electronic piano sounds, Kawai have included a really great selection of classical organ voices. Um, there, are, there are different types of organ sound for all different styles of classical playing. So I'm just gonna select two different classical organ voices here and just play a little piece just to show you the difference in variation that you can get. Whilst you're playing, you'll notice that I actually change voice whilst I'm playing. So in addition to the sound of the really nice classical organ voices, Kawai have included some orchestral string sounds and there's also a really beautiful harp. So I'm gonna select two of the different string voices here and then finish with the sound of the harp.
So as you could see, it's very simple to change sound whilst you're playing. There's a huge range of voices in both instruments. Like I've said that the CA99 does have an additional 60 voices. Having said that, there is a really great selection of sounds in the CA79. And what you can do is actually choose your favorite sounds and it stores them into one location or one bank so that it's very easy for you to get to your favorite voices very quickly. So now I'm just gonna go back to the acoustic piano sounds. And I just thought it would be useful just to play a chromatic scale on the four different core piano sounds, just so you can hear the difference in tone, not through playing a piece of music, but just through playing a scale. And this really shows the difference in, in tone and voicing between the four different piano sounds. The great thing about Kawai Digital Pianos is that they feature the virtual technician and this enables you to delve in and change lots of characteristics of the piano sound. So if you want a little bit more string resonance or a bit more hammer noise or a damper resonance, you can go in and you can change the voicing of the piano. You can even change the voicing on individual notes if you want to as well. Um, Kawai are releasing an app for these instruments uh, which will connect via Bluetooth. So if you've got an iPad or an Android device, there's going to be an app available so that you can get to all of the functions via the touchscreen of your Android or iOS device. Um, and it makes editing your own sounds very, very easy. So you can use the app to change the voices and then you can store them inside the piano for recall later on. The new app, it's not released at the time of making this video, but it will be very soon. Also brings all of the functions from the piano onto the screen of your tablet. So it makes it very, very easy operationally. Even though I must say that the touchscreen interface that's built into these models is very intuitive and actually quite easy to use. A feature I like to use on digital pianos is to be able to layer two voices together. So what I've done in this next example is I've taken an acoustic piano voice and the sound of a string orchestra and layered them on top of each other. So every note on the piano is actually playing a piano and an orchestral string voice. And it gives a really beautiful sound and it's really lovely for playing ballads. So I'm sitting here in front of the CA99. Now you'll notice that the cabinet is quite a different shape to that of the CA79, which is over there. So this is more like a small upright piano. It's quite um, flat at the front. If we close the lid down, if you notice, even the lid is the same as an acoustic piano. It's even got the soft close, so you can't trap your fingers in it. It goes down nice and slowly. Um, but the CA99 has an extended music desk as well which is a nice feature um, but the CA99 is a one-piece piano and what I mean by that is that it comes supplied as you see it here it's not a, a flat pack piano like the CA79 is if we go back to the CA79 you'll see that this is actually in two pieces. You have the stand and you have the keyboard section and the keyboard section is held on by four or six screws um, and if you need to take it upstairs or move it around, it's actually quite easy because this whole top section can come off. So if you are thinking of purchasing one of these pianos, just beware if you've got a very small spiral staircase or something, you might want to send us some photographs or a video just, to, just so we can give you our opinions to not a CA99 will go up the stairs. So that's something to bear in mind when you're thinking of buying one. Both of them can be moved around very easily. I mean, even the CA99, this is 89 kilos, whereas the CA79 is 10 kilos less at 79 kilos, but it's still, easily manageable for, for two people to move around. So unlike an acoustic piano, which can take specialist piano movers, digital pianos are very, very simple to move around and a lot more, a lot more flexible in where you can locate them. 
So whilst we're talking about the differences between the two models, the CA99 has an upgraded speaker system compared to the CA79. So both individually, they sound very, very good, both on their own. However, when you've got them side by side, the CA99 does sound not just louder, but warmer. It's got a different kind of tone. Now, it does have more speakers, so yes, it does have a bit more volume, but even at lower volume, it just has, um, a, like I can't describe it other than saying it's a warmer sort of sound. Now, I think that's mainly because if you follow me around the back here, on the back of the CA99, there's actually what we call a soundboard. Now, a traditional acoustic piano, it makes it sound by hammers hitting strings, and those strings are mounted on a soundboard, which is just like you get on the back of the CA99 here. And the board vibrates and resonates uh, as the strings vibrate. And what Kawhi have done to try and emulate that sound and to try and uh, give you more of, a, of the experience of playing an acoustic piano is they've mounted speakers on the soundboard. So the soundboard on the back of this does actually resonate and vibrate just the same as an acoustic piano soundboard would. And it just kind of fills the area with sound and it kind of envelopes you with sound. Now, both of these models also have these speaker diffusers, which is something new for this range, which means that not only does the player get a really good sound, but wherever you stand in the room, there's these um, little dome things which are on top of the speakers, which throw the sound out around the room. And the, 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 I must say, they, they're both really nice to play. As I've said, the CA99 does just have the edge on the sound because of the improved sound system. Um, it's also nice that you're sitting down, you feel like you're sitting at, a, at, a, at an acoustic, a small acoustic piano with a CA99. CA79, is they've, they've changed the cabinet design actually from the uh, older models. I think it's a slightly more modern design, but what is nice is that the, the lid now feels very solid. As you see, this has got a sliding lid as opposed to the CA99 having the uh, traditional piano full. So both models have a metronome feature built in. Simply just tap the metronome icon on the screen. You can scroll through uh, for how many beats in a bar you want and you can change the volume of the metronome and the tempo of the metronome. So as well as a metronome, there's actually a drum machine built in. So the drums just make it a little bit more interesting to do your practice. So rather than just a standard TikTok metronome, why I've included lots and lots of different drum beats and different styles of music, just to make practice a bit more fun. Now I wanted to give you an example of how you could use the drum beats a little bit more creatively. So first of all, let's just take a, um, a listen to, uh, there are some bass voices built in to these models. So you have the sound of the acoustic upright bass. And there's also the sound of the electric bass. And this is one of my favorite voices, and this is the sound of the acoustic bass, but it's also got a ride cymbal on every single note too. So to get back to the rhythms, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the keyboard so I can have one sound on my left hand. So in this example, I'm going to use the electric bass on my left hand. And because the keyboard is split, I've got a piano voice on my right hand. So now I'm going to put the two things together. I've got the bass in my left hand, the piano in the right. I'm going to put the drums on and I'm going to play a piece of music using bass, piano and drums.
So both the CA79 and CA99 are available in three different cabinet options. You've got the uh, satin black finish, which I'm showing here with the CA79. You have the rosewood finish, and this is what the CA99 here is in. Now, just to uh, draw your attention, when you buy the satin black finish, the um, the detail, so the logo and the pedals are actually in a silver finish. Whereas when you buy the rosewood version, you have brass logo and brass colored pedals. Um, there is also a, a satin white option available and uh, just about to be launched in the next week or so are the really beautiful high gloss polished ebony finishes. So that's the, 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 the very, very high gloss black um, that you associate with traditional acoustic pianos. That's also available. You do pay a little premium for the, uh, the high gloss finish, but it really does look fantastic. So let's just take a listen to a few of the other voices that are built in. So these new pianos feature Bluetooth MIDI and Bluetooth audio connectivity and what that means is that you can connect um, a Bluetooth device, that could be your mobile phone, it could be a tablet computer to the instruments and you can stream audio through the high quality speaker system of the pianos. Um, so perhaps you want to play along with something, uh, a tune you found online perhaps on the internet, on, um, on YouTube or a website like that and you can actually uh, stream the audio completely wirelessly through the pianos. But also you have Bluetooth MIDI and what that means is that the piano will communicate with your device um, and for using apps like GarageBand um, or Sibelius or Cubase you can record wirelessly into your, uh, your tablet device or your computer or your mobile phone. Um, it works very very well, it's very stable and um, it just makes uh, connecting to other devices very easy. There's a new Bluetooth standard which is called APT-X, that's A-P-T-X, and it's higher quality audio um, through Bluetooth. And these are compatible with that. So the modern mobile phones that you stream music from uh, are also APT-X compatible as well. And it just means that when you're using the speaker system to listen to music from another device, you're getting the very, very best quality audio that you, that, that's available. So digital pianos are really handy because they also allow you to record within themselves. So you don't just have to use an external device to record, they have onboard recording. Now, both these models will either record as MIDI data or as audio directly onto um, a USB stick. Now, I'm going to just show you how the recording works because there are two ways you can use the recording feature. The first way is for when you're learning a piece of music. So you can practice your left hand first and you can record that. And then if you're perhaps you're learning a particularly hard piece of music or just something that's new to you and you just want to uh, play both parts individually and then put them together. That's always how my piano teacher told me to practice um, and it works fantastically uh, with a digital piano. So what I'm gonna do in this next example is I'm gonna press record, I'm gonna play my left hand, then I'm gonna play that recording back and I'm gonna practice my right hand along with the piece of music I've already recorded.
there's another way that you can use the recording feature on a digital piano and that is to play a duet with yourself. So what I'm gonna do in this next example of the recording is play both hands. I'm gonna play the, the part of one person and I'm gonna play that back and then I'm gonna play the other part myself further up the keyboard. So you can actually play a duet with yourself. So if you're thinking of purchasing a digital piano, then check out our special offers on our website. We, we do offer package deals on the CA79 and CA99, where we include a stall and headphones. Um, and Kawai have just released a, a new set of headphones. They're, they're made by Kawai, especially for digital pianos. And we do include them with uh, one of our packages on the website. Um, but give us a call, because if there's a bespoke package that you want or a particular type of piano stall, then uh, please do get in touch because we can make a package up that suits your needs. These new Kawai headphones, they're called the SH9 and they're really very, very good. We include them in our concert piano package um, now the concert piano package includes the high gloss polyester black uh, CA99 or CA79, um, a really nice leather top concert stool and a set of the Kawhi headphones. So that's really the best package that you can get. Um, but check our website, um, you'll find the link uh, in the description below this movie. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that we offer part exchange. So if you have an existing piano, it could be digital or acoustic, then we do offer part exchange. So um, send us an email, um, let us know what you've got. If it's an acoustic piano, we do need to see some photographs and also need to know the serial number so we can check the age. Um, but we are very interested in taking instruments in part exchange. So get in touch with Bonners and uh, we'll do you the very best deal we can. So that brings me to the end of my demonstration and review of the brand new CA79 and CA99 pianos. I've got to be honest and say I really love them. Um, the keyboard action has been improved over previous Kawhi ranges, the sound is improved, um, the cabinets look really nice too, but overall the, the pianos are excellent. I can't wait for the new app to come out as well so that um, you can control the piano from your tablet, which you can put on the, uh, on the music rest there. But all in all, I would highly recommend these digital pianos and I would suggest that you actually come along to one of our stores and have a play yourself. Um, we stock pianos from lots of different brands um, and you can try them all side by side in any of our showroom locations and you know then you're making the right choice when you're buying a digital piano. So thanks very much for watching this movie and I hope to see you in one of our stores soon.